Okay, we have a good integral here today. This one's from the UK integration B2024, number 16. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, arctan B sine x over sine x dx. Okay, this one was actually not too bad. They've really set it up for us where they've already, they've already created this second variable B. And what it's making me think is, let's just do Feynman's trick on this, but let's call this whole thing F of B. And one thing we can notice for later is if B is zero here, and we want our f of zero value. Just notice our tan is zero is zero, so the whole integral becomes zero. So we have this value that we can use later on. Now for my first step with this, let's just find f prime of b. Let's find a derivative with respect to b. And what I'm gonna wanna do is, let's differentiate as a partial inside the integral. So doing this, the sine x, there's no b in here, so this is just gonna be a constant. We'll bring this up front of the derivative, differentiate with respect to b of just the arctan b sine x. So now for this derivative, the first part's easy. We just get, we're just gonna get the normal derivative for arctan, but this is our whole input. So it's just gonna be one over one plus b squared sine squared x. Then chain rule differentiating with respect to b, this is just gonna be sine x. And so we can take all this and plug it back into our integral. But then now we can just cancel out sine with sine. That's the simplification we need here. And then what we have here is not gonna to be too bad. What I can do to simplify this, I'm not too sure what to do with like sine squared, but if I just multiply in here, we can kind of clean this up if we multiply by secant squared x over secant squared x. Then if I multiply this out, we just end up with secant squared in the numerator. Secant squared times one is gonna be secant squared x. Then when you multiply secant squared times sine squared, you're just gonna get tan squared. So we're gonna end up here with b squared times, times tan squared x. But now for secant squared x, I'm trying to set up a u substitution. So let's use the identity on that. And I can write this as one plus tan squared x. But now that we have everything in terms of just tangent and secant squared, we can do a u substitution on this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna set my u equal to tan of x. And then for du, that's gonna be secant squared x dx, which is our whole numerator here. So let me see if I can squeeze it in right here. So for our substitution, we end up with du. I can put these two together. We still have this one here, and then putting these two together, I can write it as one plus b squared times u squared. I forgot to update the bounds here because pi over two, tan of pi over two, that's gonna be going to infinity. The tan at zero is still zero. Now from here, this is almost set up to use our arctan formula. We just have this constant in front that we need to deal with. What I can do on this is, let's actually factor that out. So if I write this, we'll have one over one plus b squared in front. Then for this one, this is gonna become one over one plus b squared, but I wanna set it up for our formula. So what I'm gonna do is, let's write it as one over one plus b squared, but turn it into a square root and then square the whole thing. And now we have this like a squared plus u squared. So now just applying the arctan formula on this where this right here is our a value, we want the reciprocal one over a, so it's gonna be square root one plus b squared arctan, this value again, one plus b squared times u evaluated from zero to infinity. I can take this first part right here and just we have the same thing here and here. So combine these, I can write it as one over square root one plus b squared. Arctan at infinity is gonna be just pi over two. Then arctan at zero is just zero. So for our f prime b value, we have just pi over two square root one plus b squared. Now just keeping the goal in mind, we wanna get this back to f of b, because our solution is gonna be this f of zero here. So what we can do on this is let's just integrate with respect to b on both sides, integrating here with respect to b. Well, pi over two is just a constant, so we can bring that up front. And then on this integral, one over square root one plus b squared, I can just use a formula on this. We can express it two different ways. We could write this as inverse sinh of b plus c, or we could write this in terms of natural log. So we have pi over two, and we could write this as natural log of b plus square root b squared plus one. And so I think let's just use the second one for our f of b value. And so what I wanna do is get a value for this constant using the value we found before, just so we can get this just in terms of b. 
So using this, we just want to get our f of zero values. We want to evaluate when b is zero, we're going to have pi over two, natural log zero plus zero squared plus one, that's just going to be a one. But natural log of one here, that's just zero. So this whole part goes away. This whole thing is equal to zero. So what we can say from this, our c value is just zero. And so what we can do is just get rid of this c value here because it's zero, get rid of all this. And so for my final solution is we just have pi over two natural log b plus square root b squared plus one. We also could use the other one, just getting rid of the c here will be zero as well. And we could express this as pi over two inverse inch of b. Okay, there you go. Good one from UK Integration B 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.